Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of October 14th, 2021. We're almost to Halloween. For those who's uh, celebrated, of course, I'm one of your hosts, mm-hmm. Elijah, sitting digitally mm-hmm. across from me, as always. Alex, how are you? It's spooky season. It's, it's spooky season. Uh, we're all getting into the Halloween. Uh, my neighborhood started to decorate. So that's mm-hmm. always nice mm-hmm. to see when everyone's Same. got the um, giant jack-o'-lanterns and things like that. Yeah, I started decorating by changing my light bulb on my uh, front porch to the the, the purple, the night, the you know Halloween purple. Okay, all right. I was Before, wondering where you were going with I, that. I was like, what well, color I was like, is? I was but trying that to be sense. like. Well, I was trying to be like it's like oh I I, I started you know with a light bulb with the light bulb with the light bulb. Well, you're <laughs> yeah. pretty big on the decorating, so I'm sure you, I'm just, sure by next week or the week I'm just behind. Definitely, yeah. You'll have a whole Halloween out house. Now, uh, sure. my wife is a big inside decorator, so everything mm. inside is very Halloweeny. Uh, although uh, the outside, not not too Halloweeny, not too Halloween. And not too Halloweeny. Got no, it. no, no, no. Inside though, there's skulls, candles, everything that's scary is thrown about the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but Alex, mm. if you'd like to support the show, there's a bunch of ways Tell you me. could do that. So thank you for asking. You could five star this on a podcast service of your choice that you're listening to right now. You can of course go over to YouTube.com while you're watching this and like the video, or you can subscribe or comment. There's a bunch of different ways of supporting us on YouTube. If you're going to subscribe, please hit that notification bell. That's going to notify you every time we do an upload. If you want to do this financially, well, then you can of course head over to Patreon.com/slash/EasyAchievers. You give us a buck. There's a bunch of tiers that you can look at, basically, uh, to suit your desired need or want. Or if you just want to support us, you can put a flat whatever you want. Mm. Thank you so much. And remember, you can DM us there for any questions or uh, comments, concerns, thoughts, or ideas for the show. We'll leave them aloud here. Alex, I ask you a question every single week. This week is no different. What have you been playing? Mm. More Tales. Okay. And of Arise. Iowa, yep. And the big one, Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread. Yep. I've never played a Metroid game, and I am really enjoying this one. I love Metroid Dread so far. Now I'm pretty yes. deep into this game. I'll, um, and if I remember correctly, Alex, you're pretty in the beginning. I'm in not, the not in the beginning. I'm, that's that's a little too. I'm far. in this. I'm in the. Th- I I got to the third area. Yeah. But now I've I went back to the first area to get to get collect all the stuff. Yeah, to collect some stuff. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty deep in this game. I think I'm close to beating it. I don't know. There's not yeah. really. I know there's a goal, but I don't know if when I hit the goal, do it. Does the game end? I doubt it. I doubt it. I think I. I'm sure I'll get there and then have to go do something. But yeah. Uh. I'm. I'm having a great time. I enjoy everything about the game. It's Metroid. I mean, if you've ever played a Metroid, you know what it is. But uh, of course, Metroid is a uh, very much a Metroidvania. That's where the name comes from, of course. Uh, but basically, it's a giant open kind of sandboxy world where you can run around, get upgrades, run back and forth, breaking things that you may have missed before. So many upgrades, by the way. I've got I've upgraded like everything on my armor now. So this is it's not a spoiler because they showed it in the trailer, but the big robot thing that chases you yes um, the emmy that's what those the are emmys called. yes um have they been in any game before no as far okay. as i understand no that, that is has not a thing ever, in, yeah, so there's never far. been in a game where it, like something chases you that way because it no. gives me a lot of alien vibes of course that i think that is of course like you're shirt on around and, that is, yeah it's very i mean metroid I is metroid rares its alien inspiration on its sleeve i mean the first game screams alien uh, oh, for as sure. soon as you play the video game so mm-hmm. if you if you play that one i mean that it's you could tell it's a very big inspiration but yeah i think that's why i'm enjoying it a lot because i just got out of completing that game finally so maybe it just feels more like it and i'm like oh this is pretty fun mm-hmm. no it's terrifying it's, it's, it's fun it's, yeah it's, it's actually a little it, a little it scary. keeps me on my toes man yeah as soon as you hit the they're called emmy zones achievers if you haven't played the game yet but mm. essentially there's this giant robot you can i mean kind of attribute to like an alien or jason if you played the friday the 13th game where it's kind of like mm-hmm. this unkillable thing until you get a very specific upgrade to kill him in that area mm-hmm. and 
you have to run away, hide, try not to be seen, or this thing is going to destroy you. And there's stronger Emmys throughout the game. I just fought one that is very strong. It has a very different upgrade than all the other ones, which is very cool. Um, but it is very strong for what it does. Um, but but yeah, I'm enjoying Metroid Dread. Um, I recommend it to anyone who has a Switch. And if you've ever enjoyed any sort of game like Metroid, like Castlevania, like Axiom Verge, like... Let's see, I've never played Axiom Verge. So Axiom Verge is like literally it. Metroid. It, it, so, uh, it's made by one guy. Um, I, I'm blanking on his name, so I apologize. And I forget the studio, mm-hmm. too, which I should know the studio, but I don't. Um, I'll grab that really quick. But yeah, Met, uh, Axiom Verge... Alex, picture this mm. game and then mm-hmm. replace it with a dude with a scientist coat on. That is Axiom Verge. Like it is Metro. It's Metroid. I always wanted to try it's it when I good. had my when uh, during the Vita age. So yeah. I was gonna try it there. I was, think is it's there on second, PS4. Is there, is there a second one coming out? Axiom Verge Two. It, it is. Out. It is. It is. It out. is Interesting. Out, yes. mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Tom Hap is the um, developer. It's made by one game. One guy. Tom Hap. Cool. Very impressive. Yeah. Yeah, and it definitely looks amazing on the OLED. I was finally able to get an OLED switch, yes. and it looks awesome. Yes, we both have OLED switches now. Yes. Um, thanks to uh, a very cheap GameStop sale um, and trading in your switch. That, that's the only reason, again, I got one. Very fortunate sale. Yes, yes, very, <laughs> very fortunate. Yeah. Oh my God, it made it so cheap. So I was like, I'll do it for that. I was thinking it was like 80 bucks for or something sure. like that. So I was like, yeah, I can I can do 80 bucks for it. Um, so that that is great, but... Yeah, I'm enjoying the game. Um, uh, it's nice that you're play, uh, enjoying it, Alex, because this is kind yeah. of the first ever game, kind of like this, although you have played Metroidvanias before. Yes. Um, like Guacamelee, I've, 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 Guacamelee yes. 2, of course, are other Yeah, I've played Celeste. I've played... Uh, Celeste, I was more of a 2D platformer, but I, no, see, no, what no, yeah, sure. I see what you mean. Would you, mm, would you count Severed as Metroidvania? Or is that more I like know. I, different? No, that's pretty Metroidvania. It's a first person, okay. which is I know it's un- first it's just person, but like, about it. yeah. But uh, I would say it's yeah. a very Metroidvania because if I remember oh. correctly, I mean, you got you go upgrades and you things, you could yeah. go back and stuff. That was such a fun platinum. Such completely, a good, it, completely my, beside the point. But that's that was such my, a good one of my first platinums. On I my think Vita. it was my first platinum. Yeah. Period. Might not mm-hmm. have been my very first, but it was. It was, it was one of my first. It was hilarious because I'd be sitting on the couch with my Vita, and all I you see me is do this. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see yeah, me do this, too. and my wife is looking at me. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> just, I was just like, stroking it. I'm just like going back and forth, still going. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> yep, it's it was um, fun. Though. Yeah, uh, you, uh, more tales. We already kind of talked about tales, but it's, it's that JRPG uh, itch dude, that I got, and it it's hits so good. every every check mark, man. It's so good. And this is one of those games where I have no idea if I'm about to beat it or not. I think oh. I am. I think I'm close because mm. I'm about to kill all the lords. Um, which is the central theme of the game. That's not really a spoiler. They tell you the very beginning of the game, but I think I'm almost done. But I have no idea. Um, I'm 20-ish hours into the game. Uh, for the you can complete the main story of Tales on story difficulty in 40 to 50 hours, even <sighs> if you read and watch every skit and cutscene. Well, so <laughs> yeah. so you're probably about halfway. halfway. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, it definitely doesn't f- seem that long, so I'm very curious what happens <laughs> to make it double the length I've already played. So, I mean, I mean it could be also that you know you got it like that's maybe going through each area and things like that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, if you're just here for the story and ignore most side missions, it should take you between 35 to 45 hours to finish the game. Jeez. If you want to complete it, completionist takes 110 hours. Oh my god. Yeah. So, guess what, buddy? You're still there. No, oh, God. Well, such a good game, though. It is a fantastic game. I'm enjoying it. I love. I love the. It's so anime, and I love it. I get to do a cool special mm-hmm. move during a fight. It. They yell out the 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 name of the move the when they're doing mm-hmm. it, which is the coolest thing ever. Like it's so cool. Mm-hmm. It's Naruto, basically. There's, it feel, I feel like I'm making Naruto moves halfway through mm-hmm. this fight half the time. There's one called Lightning Tiger Blade. Are you kidding mm-hmm. me? Is that not the coolest thing you've ever heard, Achiever? Yeah. Wh- whoever's listening to this right now, like, is that coolest? Yeah, and half name? the time I hear, uh, I hear one of the characters say Thunder Rage. I'm like, all right. <laughs> They're just, and then especially when they added their Sword moves, Art Core awesome. Man, that's my dream. Sword Art Core Lab was really cool, although, oh. mm. slight spoilers for the thing, but not really. Mm-hmm. Um, you can beat Asuna and yes. Kirito one time mm-hmm. very easily, pretty much. They're only about level 20-something. 
But 25. to get the two weapons from the Kirito, dark, yep. yeah, you have, you to, have get to his be swords. level 99. Which is that's the recommended level. It says recommended level is a 99. It's max so. level. So, or well, I assume it's max level. I don't know if it goes higher than that. But, I mean, Jesus. Uh, so, you basically have to be the strongest in the game to kill him. Max level is 100. Okay. So, you have to so, be max level. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's yeah pretty level, much. So. But, yeah. Uh, the, Tails is good. Uh, recommend it to anyone that's craving a JRPG right now. <coughs> Sorry about that, troops. Um, anyone craving a JRPG. Anyone who's craving an anime fight because you feel so cool when you're doing these moves oh, especially when you power them up with your flame sword when you're doing mm-hmm. a flame sword and you're just doing something and you just see fire blowing up everywhere i mean God, mm-hmm. you so, do the strikes so, and stuff it's so fun yep yep all right enough of that that's really all the new stuff we've been playing we're not going to get into the usuals uh this yeah. week but um i do want to very quickly hit on a rumor okay <laughs> sorry Jesus. rumor roundup yeah of course yeah this is rumor roundup every week we grab a rumor or two, and we read it here. It might be real, might be not. Take it with however many salt you want. Uh, so Virtua Studios is rumored to be making a Metal Gear Solid remake. Company is working on a triple A remake, uh, according to a employee's LinkedIn. Um, now, this is rumors a couple, I'm going to put insiders in quotes here, um, have said that they've heard from multiple people and themselves. So, like, they've heard, and then they've also heard other people tell them that this is a Metal Gear Solid remake. Um, I have not seen anyone that I specifically trust say this, other than just people are saying that this is happening. So, <coughs> so I, I wouldn't say, like, yeah, it's for sure, or I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. We've heard that there's a Metal Gear Solid remake in the works somewhere. We just don't know where. Everyone assumed it was Blue Point. I don't know if that's true now because we're hitting the Bloodborne stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, if the Bloodborne stuff is true, I mean, I don't know how many people Blue Point employ, but they definitely can't be doing two of those uh, remakes at once because they they were making uh, Demon Souls, and then they had half of their team on an, uh, uh, near the near the end of the Demon Souls. I'm pretty sure they switched to whatever their next remake was near the end of that, which is, you know, what most studios do. Uh, they have company size that says 70. it's 51. Well, well, oh, yeah, because it says right now it says 51 to 200 employees. But if you, I think if you go down, it Jesus. actually tells you the accurate. Yeah, six, it says view all 65 employees, which I am assuming that's not everybody, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, all I see is a wiki that says number of employees 70. I don't, again, this is all... I don't think uh, most companies tell them exactly who how many employees they have yeah. uh, for just specific reasons. So yeah, sure. I would go by anywhere between, like like you said, Alex, 70 to probably mid-hundreds at the most. Okay. Um, but yeah, that is very interesting. I would love to see Metal Gear in some way come back. Um, I would be curious to see how popular it would be if... They don't get Kojima into to give them blessing at all because it seems to it seems like a lot of people aren't bringing it up much anymore. But Konami did get a lot of flack for what happened with Kojima uh, with Metal Gear Solid Five. So I'm very curious if they'll be either, if they'll be able to get his blessing on this. If they'll just make a remake to try and like sue like get over the old wounds that's from that deal. I don't know. We're only starting to see Konami come back now, so. This could be from a while if this is true. Um, I hope it is, though. Um, Alex, you have not played any Metal Gear, right? So, the very first one I ever played was for Guns of Patriots. I think I was on the PS3. I yes. played that one, and I played a little bit of it. Okay. And it was so it was interesting, because I've never played one before. And then I tried Metal Gear Solid Five, and it was... The stealth was cool, but I don't think I was into the stealth stuff, mm. so I didn't really care for it. And then it, when it came, the, so all the supernatural shit happened. I was like, "Whoa! All right, what's happening?" I and have then, played um, Metal Gear Solid Revengeance, mm-hmm. beating it. I've okay. played Metal Gear Solid Two, got about I think halfway in the game and and stopped okay. playing. And I've beaten Metal Gear Solid Five, and that game is utter nonsense. Mm-hmm. I have no. I've played that game all the way through. I have no idea what happened. No. If idea. you if you if you can recommend one right now to play, no matter which one it is, which one you, like if you would tell me to go play one right now and don't Metal waste Gear time. Solid. 
Yeah, like any Metal Gear game, like which one should I go play right now? If you I'm not, had the, to I'm not the Metal Gear guy, but if you are asking me, I mean, I had a lot of fun with Metal Gear Solid Five because I loved the aspect of you could capture people and have them work on your base and stuff, and you okay. could work on your base and make it stronger um, and things like that. But you have to go in knowing that first off, the story isn't finished because the game just mm-hmm. kind of ends, and right. everyone knows that yeah, there's a missing chapter say- in the game. I would say story-wise, which one's the best one? Because I've always heard people like Peace Walker and like some other one. I can't remember the, what it was. The way I've heard is Peace Walker is apparently really good, which is a PSP game. You have to play right. an HD remake of that on the 360, or right. you can play it through Xbox One through Backstreet like Babylon, and I'm pretty sure that's the only way to do it. Okay. And then you can play two and three within, which was a collection that's also a 360 game that can be played through backwards compatibility. Um, again, only on an Xbox One or a Series X. I don't think there's any way to play them on PlayStation 4 or 5. And then, if I had to recommend one just based on what I've played, 2 seems really good, but th- the problem is those controls feel so ancient now. Mm. Um, I think you have you have to like switch to first-person mode, and then you move like the gun around, and you and, shoot something. Oh, it's one a, of those. It's, so like, to shoot, you have to be in first-person, then you come back out of it, and then it's third-person. You can shoot third-person, but you can't see anything. So uh, you have to be first-person. It's, it's, it's ancient, and hopefully if they do do this remake, mm. um, it is... We worked in some way. Speaking of remakes, Alex, I want to bring up the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. Um, that was confirmed last week. I do want to bring it back up to you, only for the reasons of this. Is do you think this trilogy that we're getting? I've been trying to think about it. Like, do you think this Grand Theft Auto trilogy is going to be have modernized controls in any way? They did say they're no. going to tackle the controls, but that could mean no. anything. No? no, no. I hope. I think it's it clearly going to be this. So you remember when they added the on PS4? They added PS2 games. Uh, not remastered, but kind of like enhanced, like with 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 trophies and stuff. They added the GTA and all that stuff. Like yes, Vice City, and they added a bunch. Of, I feel like it's gonna be like that. I feel like it's gonna be just a remaster, like an just like an like an enhanced like version of it with okay. with support for achievements slash or trophies. But I don't feel like there's gonna be any. Uh, any change in the controls or anything at all i think gta is going to be as wonky as it used to be and you see like when you run and you run weirdly <laughs> it's you're still going to do the same thing i okay. don't think it's going to run like gta 5 yeah i i saw someone's so there was basically a mod that make grand theft auto look really good um mm-hmm. and they were like oh this is probably what you can expect from the remake and i was like Ooh, i don't think no. that's gonna happen no. at all <laughs> like that, no, re- you know that game that, that mod resources. looked that got that mod looked really really good so i was mm-hmm. like Ooh, i don't think about it oh, i know i know exactly what you're talking about the gta 3 one yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and it showed that remake yeah it was like a post on twitter i think mm-hmm. and i was like I think people are kind of blowing the expect. I mean, and I hope I'm wrong here. Um, I hope these games well, are thanks. remade I mean, and I'm, look fantastic. Hope- and but Rockstar doesn't have to do that, and everyone's still probably buy it. So Honestly, <laughs> you know, I think, it's. I think I think they're gonna do maybe what uh, they did with Mass Effect. I mean, Mass Effect feels the same, but it looks really good. Yeah. You know, the new the remaster, yeah. it just everything looks good, but it still feels like the Mass Effect you liked. Mm. So I think that's just how it's gonna be. It's it's. it's GTA is probably going to look a little better, but it's going to still feel the same. Well, only time will tell. It is scheduled to... Um, rumored, year, right? rumored was it was going to be in November. The rumor now is that it's been delayed. Uh, mm. Again, no official word from Rockstar. We just, we just know um, that we're going to get a date soon. <laughs> all right, Alex. Um, uh, that's all for the room roundup. Um, again, this is going to be a short news story, so we're probably going to have some shenanigans near the end, just talking. Because, uh, mm-hmm. again, this is a very quick news week. Um, Disney yes. did t- tease a Star Wars game announcement in December. Ooh. Very interesting. We don't know exactly what it is. Um, rumor is that it's not Fallen Order, so it's most likely a new IP. I can't think of something they'd bring back. Um, Alex, do you do you want this to be a new IP? I do. I want this to be something yes. new. Yeah, I um, want something to be something new. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope it's not like as much as I enjoyed uh, Cal and all them. I like just give me something new because I don't want them to to do the whole battlefield th- or battlefront thing with the and it's like you know battlefront one when we first played it, it was fun. But and then battlefront two is just you know I had so many problems and stuff like that. I just just make something new. Yeah, I agree. I I, I want something new from this, and I hope it's 
unique or it looks dope. Mm-hmm. Um, we are getting the Star Wars Old Republic remade, so hopefully we're like I I don't know I I want like I want like a like you know how Star Wars thirteen thirteen. Remember, yeah, that, that was exactly I want what something I was like saying. that. Just, like I, I like, want like, like a, 13, 13. I want to use blasters. Like, like I want to take a a break from lightsabers. Uh, okay, I, I, would, I want I want blasters. I, I, I or literally both. was gonna go the other way around. Really, for that. you want just lightsabers? I will. All these games were based off of like you know the all uh, the whole Skywalker saga. I want to go all the way. Just go back and go to the beginning and how it all started and like you know everybody still has proto sabers and how the council was made who was the first sith and who was the first jedi like that i would love if we are doing and again lightsabers that's meant that's what makes money so i would be very shocked if uh, i actually get like a Bounty Hunter, Smuggler, Uncharted like game, which I well, you I've might get the wanted. Mandalorian game. Remember we talked about it. That's true. That did leak, and that is for sure real. There's no way that was fake. I did forget about I just that. Thank you, Alex. Better. Yeah, yeah. I did forget about that. Thank you, Alex. Now that could be a reference to that. Now, mm. if that's if that ends up fake, Alex, I'm gonna be like, someone has way too much time. We gotta go find whoever made this and be like, are you okay? I mean, if you anything, okay, it could it could be that game, the Mandalorian game, be- the new Star Wars game. There it is. Yep. Um, but, uh, but it is unclear if it's a new or, or an old or something that already exists. All it says is, um, I'm going to read from an IGN article that I pulled up. Um, so they're doing a Bring Home the Bounty campaign, which is like a celebration of uh, throughout the uh, next few weeks starting next Tuesday, I think. Okay. Um, and every week there will be a new thing. And on week, f- on sorry, on December 14th, they have... Uh, a gamepad on it, so like they have a, like a a controller icon. Okay. So that is hinting that it could be a game, uh, an actual new video game. Hmm. So who knows? We'll see. We shall see. I again, I, I don't really care what it is. If I'm being honest, like I, it's like off the top of my head, I'm like, I don't know. Hopefully, we're it's probably, it's not some. We're probably gonna play it, but I mean, I'm not. It's just like the last. I mean, like I said, Jedi Fallen Order was fun. But like it was it the ones before I'm like okay is it gonna be a hit or miss this one yeah yeah, yeah definitely definitely um this is a quick one um Xbox Series um uh, S is selling really well in Japan uh, Ooh, wow the Xbox Series X and S has sold over a hundred thousand units in Japan I know that doesn't sound like a lot but for reference Xbox One sold only a hundred K in four years Damn. four years that's how bad Xbox One was in Japan no one cared about that thing. Um, so and I think I think the advantage of uh, this is the Series S is so small and it's digital. Yeah, it's, it's more you get more transportable. Yeah. Uh, like you could take it with you. Yeah. So and that is combining uh, both units, uh, Series X and S, to a combined hundred thousand. And again, that sounds measly, and it is. But for reference, Xbox One did terribly. So and they and uh, Phil has constantly said he wants the uh, more sales in Japan. He wants to mm-hmm. focus the market very heavily there. So. I mean, because everybody over there is using Vitas and Switches, dude. Vitas, Switches, and if you have a home system, it's generally going to be a PlayStation. PlayStation, that's, yeah. That's the, that's, your, that's the Japan. That's their their uh, home base is there. So. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, that's where Sony works out of. So you're just mm. naturally going to go there. Of course, Nintendo as well. You're just mm. naturally going to gravitate there. And also, there's not... I, I'm, I, I'm curious how popular Western RPGs are in Japan. Um, because we love their RPGs. I don't know if um, I'll, I'll research that later and um, read up on that. I do. I don't actually know if um, Western RPGs like Fallout, like Elder Scrolls, like um, Outer Worlds are popular in Japan. Mm-hmm. I'll be very curious to see that. I'll have to look that up later. Um, but Alex, that's really the news for the week. Um, well, again, I, did. I, I didn't see. I mean, I'm sure there's more. Uh, I did look through all the normal places. I didn't see anything very interesting to talk about. Um, so what I wanted to do is just sit here and just talk about games for a little bit, Alex. Um, that's okay. all I, that's really all I want to do. Um, let's talk about some stuff, man. Let's talk about some stuff. So, uh, it really, um, I want to open the floor to you. Is there anything off the top of your head that you want to discuss? Now, we have been playing the Switch, uh, mm-hmm. which first off is a fantastic machine. And I do want to talk about, um, really quickly, uh, is this isn't your first time using an OLED, 
but I do love the screen on this thing. Now, some people mm-hmm. have been middle of the road on this. Some people are saying like, oh, the OLED looks great. Some people have been like, eh, it's a whatever upgrade. What are your thoughts on this OLED screen? Now, is and, and is this your first time using an OLED anything? I don't remember. You used the Vita I 1, had- right? I had yeah. I originally had the OLED Vita, and I loved that thing. Yep. But I hate. I now would have kept it if it wasn't a proprietary charger. Yep. Yep. Oh my god! Like yep. I would have. I would have used that one rather than the Slim if it if it was if the charger was for normal. Mm-hmm. But like that proprietary charger, I was just like I just had so many issues with it. It was a pain. It was a pain, and and again, and I couldn't just replace it easily. It was so hard to find half the time. Yep. 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 And uh, let's not forget those memory cards. Whew. Oh my god. Well, what a shame with the Vita. What a shame. That still is, have mine. I mean, I love it. I, I mean, too. I mean, uh, you luckily, you luckily got mine signed by kind of funny when you went. I to forgot see about them. that. Yes, I did. I completely forgot about that. So yeah, I still you have, have signed I have, Vita. Yeah. Yes, I do, and it's awesome. You have to mount that on the wall one day or something. I have. I put a, a tempered glass like or like screen over it so the things won't smudge. Perfect. That's a good idea, actually. That is actually a really good idea. Um. But yeah, I, I want to uh, sticking with Vita really quick. Okay. Um, I want your thoughts. Do you think Sony will ever make another handheld? Off the top of my head, I say no. Ever? Yes. Ever? Oh uh, well. Okay. Ever, in the ever, next ever, in the next years. ten years. Yeah. Ooh, I I think no for sure. I feel like in the next 10 years, I think we'll hear something about it. I don't think we'll have one, per, but I think we'll hear some and be like, hey, this is what we're working on. Just bear with us or whatever. Mm. Or this is where our, this is where our next plan is after VR. And when they when they see that VR 2 is not going to be as hype up as everybody wants it to be. That's a good point there, Alex, when you bring up VR 2. Now, I do think they're putting most of their resources in R&D and things that they want to make into this PSVR 2. It does seem like they're trying to hype this thing up into something that well, is going to be different like, than the other VRs. I feel like they, 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 they see how well the Oculus Go or Quest Go, whatever, the, I forget what it's called. Quest 2 uh, is the new Quest one. 2, thank you, is when it, what it does, how... I don't know how well it does, to be honest, actually, but it looks like it does really well for a VR, remote, like, you know, a portable VR system. So I think they're trying to do that, but or maybe try to get it, keep it portable for, for example, the Japan community that they're always on the go and things like that. I just, I don't know why. What's the point? At my, at my, my thing, pretty much. If I'm not trying to be too broad, but I'm like, wh- why? What's the point in the VR2? That's a, I mean... I think VR is missing that play title, right? Like, if someone mm-hmm. came up to me and said, "Hey, um, I'm thinking about getting a VR. What's the mm-hmm. one game that you think would sway me to get one?" Mm-hmm. I don't have an answer for them. Uh, Iron Man seemed cool. I didn't play it. Um, my I thing think- is, sorry, uh, no, go no, ahead. please, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Is, My thing is, for people who don't have a VR now and how cheap you can get one now, when they see the VR two, they're like, they're gonna be like, "Well, I never got the first one, so why would I get this one?" So I'm like, what's the difference? I mean, I mean, it's it, it they didn't. It wasn't wireless, right? It was like a no. one core thing. No. Oh no, the the new one. the The new one, yeah, um, the new one. is going to use one wire. Presumably, wire. it's going to use a USB C wire because that okay. is there is one USB C for everyone who has a PS5 has noticed in the middle of your console. There is one USB C cord. Yes, one USB C in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, presumably is going to be one cable leading straight into that. And see, my thing and we is know like, it's one cable. Just so everyone, yeah. all the achievers and, know, we know for a fact that is. We know we're getting I, new fancy I, dual sense like. Wands, I just feel like I guess is what you call that. I just feel like people are not going to like if they don't have the original VR or if they had did and they sold it like immediately. Yeah. What's the point of them getting the new one? I don't think there's much hype in VR. I think VR is still a novelty thing, uh, f- and the price of entry is so high. Um, Honestly, I only- think VR is bi- it, it, it came and gone. So they, like, I really, think it's you done. think it's gone? I think it's I think it's meddling. I think it's in the middle mm-hmm. of a. No one really knows if it's a mm-hmm. cool thing or not. Some people have it as a novelty thing that they show their yeah. friends when they come over to drink. Like, look at this thing. I can. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just remember be, I could be Darth be like, Vader. Look, I just remember that shit used to be like, like when it came out, it used to be that's all everybody wanted to use either the PlayStation VR, the the Vive, or the and 
of course, mobile phones try to do like the, the Samsung one, the cardboard the, with Google, Google yeah. cardboard, yeah, and the Samsung ones, and then the there was the, uh, I think the, the Oculus ones, yeah, like, but that was never went anywhere. Uh, like 2016, 2017 time, I remember that. Uh, yeah, but no, it, they didn't do anything, so like those are gone. Mm-hmm. I mean, nobody really uses that anymore. Well, then, then the Quest, the Quest is the only one really still alive. I don't even hear many people play or use the Vive anymore. I, mean, I, I don't guess hear much about PC. the Vive either. Now, remember, there's the, 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 there's the, the PC index. One. What remember is that? that thing? That's, that's Vive's new one. Um, isn't that... Isn't, I don't uh, remember what I'm that is. Sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Vive index, that's the one made by Valve. That's the one they released um, Half-Life on. Uh, the Valve index. Valve that, index. Let's see yeah. what this is. Um, but to bring up, bring up the... Yeah, uh, Oculus Quests. Uh, I Honestly, I think when they bought, got by... Uh, I think when they got by... Bought by Facebook. Ooh, it seems, it seems like every you see that price, don't you? Oh, <laughs> I knew exactly what he looked at, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> uh, in achievers. Um, it said with controllers, just the headset. Yep. So the the goggles and the two controllers. Yep. Seven hundred and forty nine dollars. Yep. That's another thing. This is a premium. There, there is a window. One game. There is a cool. barrier between people playing VR games because one, most of the time, if not all the time, except for one instance, you have to have both a PC and you have to have the VR to play on it. You are already baseline looking at $2,000 for those two items I just said because you need a PC, you need a monitor, you need a keyboard, you need a mouse to work the computer, then you need the VR, the controllers, and then you need to buy video games for it. So again, this is this is probably why it hasn't been propelled into um i would say the masses the cost uh, the 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 mass consumers at large is because it's just such a high barrier of entry i mean look at, to, to even get the playstation when you have to have a system then you have to have the piece psvr then you have to buy games for it the oculus quest is the cheapest entry right now um and no one buys that thing it seems like anyways i don't know how profitable it is um i probably shouldn't be speaking on my ass so i do apologize i don't know how successful it is but from the anecdotal things that i've seen it does not seem very successful let's just say that on steam's website if i look at just the headset alone it's 500 dollars, and it says it's out of stock Mm -hmm. yeah no it's definitely out of stock it's probably very hard to make yeah any electronic right now yeah but yeah. It's gonna be like that till like twenty twenty three, apparently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the, yeah, the VR two. Yeah, I, you you seem down on it. I I don't blame I, you it, because it. For I mean, and I, I have didn't VR. Play, it just, no, I, we both do. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't to say like you know it's a bad thing. I I, I there's always healthy skepticism in anything that you talk yeah. about. But um, with the VR I just, two, I I'm I find myself kind of looking at sony and going convince me why i need this i, I just d- feel like they would be more profitable with a portable system than a vr i agree i don't I think mean, i don't think that's very popular to say i don't think many people would agree with me um i would love to talk to an analyst about that actually uh someone like a jeff grubb someone like a, um i mean you can tell me right now you are you gonna I pay 500 dollars for a vr system that you have to connect to your system first you have to have the system so okay, that's let's yeah. say so have a system a thousand dollars thousand dollars to play vr on your system not portable and i mean i I guess you could take it portable in a backpack but you can't play it like in a bus train or anything or three maybe 400 bucks on a on an awesome P- vita 2 like you know whatever with uh with a 1080p lens or whatever if they can ever do that i mean or a screen I mean, and that's portable. You can take it anywhere. You can literally slid that thing in your pocket. It depends how big your pockets are. So uh, I think Sony would make more money on a Vita 2 mm-hmm. than a VR. Yes, yeah, they would. I think, they might I think that's not even crazy to say. First off, oh. I don't know if you've seen this, Alex, but um, uh, during an investor relations, this is via tech radar. I'm, I'm just kind of Googling things to see what is brought up. This is from an investor relations uh, uh, meeting. Quote, in... In um, financial year 21, we will begin to pl- publish some of our iconic PlayStation IP on mobile. And we anticipate that in 2021, that will not provide a significant profit flow, but we do anticipate that this, this, the, sorry, but we do anticipate 
that as we learn from that experience. It's quite, it's quite a weird sentence. Um, this is, of course, Jim Ryan, the uh, CEO. Uh, this is according to Video Games Chronicle. Of course, this is I'm reading off Tech Radar, though. Uh, quote, and as we increase the number of titles that we publish on mobile, the, con- the contribution from both PC and mobile will start to become steadily more important as time passes, end quote. This is a Sony that is now... Focusing much more on PC, fo- focusing much more on mobile. What better way to take advantage of your mobile offerings that you're putting on a phone than with a Vita 2? Now, the issue is, why buy a Vita 2 when you have a phone? I think that's the number one issue you walk in on trying to pitch a Vita 2 in an investor meeting, in an R&D lab, et cetera, et cetera. Why buy X? when I could buy Y. Why buy this $500 thing to play mobile games on when I have a phone in my pocket that I already have, that everyone literally has? Well, because My answer also, to that is playing on phones suck, and everyone knows that. That and it drains the shit out of your battery. <laughs> so, like, imagine you playing... You, oh, yeah, you're over here playing an emulator or some shit you play, or the cloud or whatever, and out of nowhere, doop, 1%, dead. Now, what, you're stuck without a phone? Mm-hmm. I like I think a Vita I think a Vita two would be way more profitable than a VR now mm, for sure. Then we get into profit margins and other complicated stuff that I I just am not intelligent enough to to speak on. But I I think without a doubt, if they made a Vita two now, mm. first off, someone needs to combat Nintendo because they're just they just have the handheld market now. They just own... The, okay, yeah, we have the Steam Deck coming. Fucking woohoo. With, with that thing. That thing, first off, looks terrible. So, uh, who's really going to buy that thing? Second off, um, yeah, Switch just dominates the handheld market now. They have no competition, and they yeah. just... It's just lame. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> Xbox definitely isn't going to do a mobile um, uh, yeah. uh, game. They're, they're just not going to make a mobile device. It, I don't, they have no interest in that. They want to make um, small digital things in your house to stream games. We already know they're going to make a game stick that goes into your TV, like a Roku or a Comcast that's just going to stream Xbox games to your TV. Yeah, I was trying to see how many you like. How much did the the Vita make versus the VR? Oof, Vita didn't sell well. Um, Vita. Let's see. So units. Uh, units sold. It was, oh, let's see. This is not even. What well, this is was from 2018. So I don't even know if I can use that. Is that when they stopped? Because I mean, said, they didn't sell many after 2018. So we can okay, probably because it says adjusted for inflation after. Okay, no, never mind. Units sold as of 2018 let's, let's was 16 million. 16 million of what? 16 of the Vita with the Vita and the Vita Slim. Really? Let me see. Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, PS3, PlayStation, Vita. Here we go, let's see. Europe, Japan. I feel like there was... It's a, yeah, because in North America, they did 2.6 million. Japan, it looks like... Oh, global, no, wait, no. Yeah, globally... Yeah, and then Japan. Yeah, it seems about fifteen to sixteen million units. And then Japan was five is six million, and so total was sixteen million. PS5. And these I are all think. estimates. Sony has not released exact sales figures for the Vita. I don't yeah. think they ever have, other I, than when it launched. I think. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to figure out, but I don't see anything. It looks like an estimate is about fifteen to sixteen million units of Vita have been sold, which is not a lot. <laughs> There's not a lot at all. Um. Now let's see how many PSVRs. Which I don't know how. how as of how as of January first, twenty twenty, it said that they shared that the PS five the PSVR reached five million unit in sales. Yeah, yeah. And what year was that? Last year, last so, year. January first of twenty twenty. As of that last year, they mm-hmm. they hit, they had hit five million unit units. Yep. So first off, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We don't really have anything to compare a VR to with a system. I mean, you could, could compare the vibe, PC but that's, sales, but that's yeah, so different. That's so, yeah, so it's so much more it's expensive. So on much more expensive. So like, it's hard to even know if that's successful. Um, I assume that it's successful in the eyes of Sony because uh, I don't think they're expecting to sell any, like very many at all. But 
yeah that, that, that's a good i mean that's a good conversation with the with the psvr like yeah, yeah. how many how many units right uh these are this these are apples and oranges though uh, i don't think it's mm -hmm. very common to say I, I don't think it's it's not really fair to compare i guess units sold to each other because they're such different things right the, yeah. v, the vita is one thing whereas the vr is have a system now you have to buy a vr now you have to buy games specifically for vr you know it's, it's complicated but mm -hmm. but yeah i i hopefully one day we'll get a vita too uh, oh yeah even if it's not called the vita i mean just no it won't be called portable. the vita that's a, a vita 2 would be dumb name yeah it should be called uh, portable. yeah it should be called like what's another dumb name they could do psp go remember that oh god yes i do achievers i don't know if you know what a psp go is but picture the smallest thing in the your fucking life. Now, 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 picture that as a game controller. There you go. For those for for those uh, for those older um, achievers, remember those uh, T-Mobile sidekicks that it was shown on skate. The it's like a it's a smartphone, but then you flick it and yep. then a, a keyboard comes out. Yep. It's it, it just reminds it me was of a that. sidekick or yeah, or a razor blade. Is that what they were called? Uh, no, there's one, it's the, there's a Sony Xperia, which has oh, a phone, yeah, and you yeah. slide it up, and oh, it has you, a little... I remember that. Yeah, the Xperia, yeah. they tried to, like, sell you on, like, uh, on, I think like, mobile they games. they still sell thing. them. I think they sell Xperia still. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Oh, I don't know. Xperia yeah. is a place. <laughs> I typed <laughs> just Xperia. I should have put Xperia Sony. I imagine they still sell those things. Uh, did, I remember thinking that was so Xperia cool. Yeah, you could, yeah, five. Xperia. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, they're so expensive. Holy Jesus Holy Christ! God. Oh my God, achievers, avert your eyes! Oh my God, there's so many numbers. They're more expensive than an iPhone. Yeah. By doubled. Yeah. Twenty five hundred bucks. This thing is bucks. a four K one twenty hertz OLED display on a phone. Jesus, I didn't know this thing was packing so much heat. Oh my god. Look, like, I'm gonna read to you the Xperia 1 5G smartphone with 120 hertz. It's a six and a half inch display, 21 by 9 4K HDR OLED display with triple camera and four <sighs> focal lens. Oh my what? god. That's so many. The thing with this one though, it doesn't look like it does the little swoopy thing anymore. No, little... no, they don't do it anymore. They don't do it anymore. Yeah. No, no, it's just a phone now. This game is not or this game, game. this phone is <laughs> nuts. It is pretty nuts. I was not expecting that price point when I was clicking on achievers. I know there's some achievers out there is like, yeah, you didn't know that Sony still made experience and they're still stupid expensive. I did not know that. I did not know someone out there is walking around with almost three grand worth of technology in their pocket. I did not know that. My god. Speaking of OLED, Alex, mm. I will be getting an OLED TV very soon. We've been discussing this. OLEDs, man. Achievers, if you, as of recording, it is still open. I do not know if it is still when we post this, but there is a deal happening on the new LG C1s. Um, on Amazon, I went ahead and copped one. Of course, this is not sponsored. But if you'd like to score a not cheap, but cheaper TV, Amazon is your friend right now. Just type LG C1. A bunch of them is going to pop up. Uh, but Alex, I cannot wait for that. I'm getting that it's Saturday. I, next recording, fingers crossed, as long as nothing's broken on the TV when it comes in. Because... Not 100% sure buying some, a TV through Amazon is the best option, but they had the deal, and they had a very specific deal for me, so I, I couldn't yeah. pass up what they gave me. But Yeah, it is, uh, it is still on sale. Still on sale, yeah, as of recording. So, it, it, In theory, will still be on sale as when this goes live. So enjoy, if you want one. But again, still not cheap, but it's cheaper. 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 But I am very Definitely. excited to play that thing. My God. It is so close. It's cheaper oh. by eight hundred dollars if that means to a lot of people. Yes, yes, eight hundred the bucks, almost a grand off of it. Now, I'm not a big TV guy, but like I don't know if the big number is just there to make it seem like it's on sale, like more than it is. I don't know, could, but I mean, we don't I've know. Seen, well, I've seen OLED LGs be two grand, so like it's yeah. not out of the question for it to be two thousand dollars before. No, yeah, for sure, and of course, I mean, even the OLEDs GX, those are over two grand, so. I know, yeah, I, I've never looked at the OLED, uh, I've never looked at, honestly, I have to admit, I've never looked at any other LG OLED other than the C series. Um, C series, yeah. 
I've never looked at the G's. Um, the G's, the F's, the B's, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the other ones. I, I know there's the G model. X, yeah, is that one of them? Let me see, remember. OLED TV. So there's the, the G models. There's the, there's, what the fuck is this thing? A QNED? What the hell are those things? Q, okay. That's like quantum, I think. Like, Nano or something. Uh, yeah, that one quantum. That three grand. Yeah, oh, it sounds... AK. What does 8K even mean? I don't know. A cheap, one, if there's someone with an 8K monitor, please tell me what what is what is that? What is LG OLED Evo? Like, all right. Oh yeah. Oh, a, there's I an see. A series. The, those are the cheaper ones. LG OLED A1 series. So, I, wonder yeah, what, I wonder what makes them cheaper. I don't know. There's CXs. I think that's the one you're thinking of because there's CX oh, no, was last pattern. year's model. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so that, that was last year's model, oh. and the C1 is this year's model. There's a BX, so there's A's, B's, and C's. Is there a DX? Oh, man, I wish. I wish. That would be so cool. Let's see. Buy the LG DX. Oh. No. Nah. We'd have to buy that one. <laughs> Got to, man. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, we are. I have the new TV jitters, so I can't wait for that to come in. I am, honestly, it's more mm-hmm. stress than anything, as I'm just terrified of this thing coming in. It's gonna be broken. I'm just gonna have to. I thought right I'm gonna look like curiously through him. Yeah, he's gonna come. As we're come gonna, we're gonna go watch a movie or something. Oh, puppy! Hey, puppy! Oh, more yep, puppies! And, yep. And oh my god! One, look at him. Achievers, here, if you're not on YouTube, there. you're missing out. There's a pu- there's puppies and they're ban- yep. they're dancing. Uh, I got sidetracked, but um, LG OLED. Yeah, I, I can't wait. We're, I'll I'll have a full. I won't say review, but I'll have my thoughts next week for that. As long as it works. Again, I'm not I'm just confident this thing's gonna work when I take it out of the box. Um But yeah, Alex, very quickly, um I wanted to cover this at the beginning of the show, but I decided against it because honestly there's not too much news about it. Um but Abandoned is back into the news network today. Oh the reason for that is the creator um and the actual Twitter account has tweeted out that the prologue is coming soon. Um, and this is from them. This is not a standalone game. They will provide more information regarding the prologue shortly on the website. At the same time, we're also close, closing in on uh, releasing a new trailer for the app, but we can't provide a precise date just yet. So that is a little update for everyone about Abandon. Um, I, I still don't know if this is real. <laughs> I still... <laughs> It's weird because it's weird because they're like the prologue thing. It's gonna be it's whole. It's not even a demo. It's a actual whole experience thing. And I'm like, what does that mean? You're getting is the whole game? Like what? I want to say this again. There's a man named Hassan Karaman that no one has met before. No one knows. He says he employs a bunch of people. No one knows them either. No one said anything. Three. He is now making a game. First off, on an app that he got released through PlayStation somehow, how for, how did he, how this no name comes to PlayStation and goes, I want an app for my game and trailers. And also, I want a PlayStation blog about it. No, that's not how that works. Another point, this dude now is his repeatedly go oh this is delayed oh this is delayed oh hey here's the app but it's the same teaser trailer that i already showed on twitter and then all this other weird stuff everything has been reused and unreal the the character is um like a uh has a eye patch and the wording on the abandoned was just like metal gear there's it's it, alex it's too weird it's too weird See, Alex, I, he's in thinking mode. He's, he's, like, he's wedging his bets. He's like, is this real? Is this not? I don't know. Again, either this dude scammed all of us, which is, it is possible, but highly unlikely, or Hideo Kojima is doing weird stuff again. Which could be true, too. I guess both things could be true. I don't know. Also, let's not forget that tweet. Let's not forget that tweet, Alex. That it swayed even you. Whatever Kojima tweeted out on Instagram, like, oh, my favorite book, Silent Whatever the Fuck by Hill, whatever. Like, like that was. I mean, like, come, come on. on, come on. Like this. Did you believe that? Yeah. And again, honestly, I think it'd be better if if 
Hideo had nothing to do with this, and he's just fucking with everybody. That'd be pretty funny. It'd yeah. be pretty funny. But Hassan Karaman, if you're real, bro, you fucked up. But if, but if you're not real, this is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I just I want to show you that. Watch him be real, and he's be like, he's gonna he'd be like, I got you, motherfuckers. <laughs> you fell for it, you fucking idiots. Yep. Oh my god, I. There's gonna be riots and shit. <laughs> we won <laughs> Silent Hill remake or Metal Gear Solid remake, just with either one. Um, but yeah, that it's it's been bothering me. We're, we'll hear more soon. Apparently, it, it, he said there's a playable prologue, so we'll, uh, at some point we're gonna play something. Presumably. Some point. Oh and my apparently God. it's not a demo. It's an actual full flesh experience. Yeah, what does that mean? What does it mean not a demo? It, so it's like a mini game? I don't know. It's, 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 it's the game before the game <sighs> that we think is fake. See, th- see this is exactly H- Hideo shit, right? You know, what, you, know, you, know what, you know what it's going to be? The demo game whatever bullshit for Abandoned is Abandoned and then the abandoned game we think it is is the whatever Metal Gear game we think everybody's talking about. I don't want to forget Jeff Keighley's face when he asked who Hassan Karaman is. He put the goofiest smile ever on his face when asked about He's that. Like, and he goes, yeah, we all know who Hassan Karaman is. It's like, uh, you're kind of letting the goose out, bro. You know something, mother. Mm-hmm. All right. You know something. Alex. Mm. Game Wars very soon. That's all I'm gonna say. Game Wars very soon. I'm gonna call it the abandoned game is that experience thing, and then the actual, and then the abandoned game everybody's talking about right now is an actual like a whole different game. So what? the experience, so the abandoned, so abandoned the thing, the trailer that we saw with a guy in the woods or whatever. Was this all, was, this is, is abandoned. Is, We're playing it right now. Yes, is the is gonna be the demo experience bullshit. They they say it's yeah. not a demo. It's it's that that's abandoned. Now abandoned for what all this is for is actually the Metal Gear game, Silent Hill game, whatever it is gonna be. I'm gonna call it right now. That's what it's gonna be. This is a complete non sequitur. It's a game within a game. It is a com- complete non sequitur, Alex. But Sakurai son. Mm-hmm. Has been nothing but uploading Kingdom Hearts Smash Brothers stuff, and it's been awesome. <laughs> Just <laughs> watching all his stuff. Just four days. Keep... Oh, four days. And we get to play Sora and Smash. Mm-hmm. My son. And- you know how you know I saw I saw somebody on Twitter, and they're like, "Why don't you just go play Kingdom Hearts?" And I was like, "Send me his address or her." I was like, "I was like, y- you sh- block." <laughs> block look we kingdom hearts fans don't get a lot all right yep. let us have this and then when we do we it's get very shit easy so to make fun of this it's very easy to make fun of kingdom hearts you know why they make it very easy to do that all right they make it very easy <laughs> goofy they make it very easy to make fun of that game there's a whole section where you make food with remy like it's like one of the best parts, though. I'm not saying it's a bad part. It's just easy to make fun of it. Yeah. yeah my I mean, my best, uh, one of the funny things on Twitter uh, <laughs> was uh, uh, the Disney scene and then the Disney scene in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it, was, it was when, um, what's his name? Uh, the love interest in Tangled. Oh, Flynn Rider? Flynn, yeah. It's when Flynn gets killed <laughs> and she's restoring him or whatever, you know, when he's dying. And it had the picture of, of the movie, and then next to it, it had the picture of him dead on the floor with her holding him. And just Sora and Donald and Goofy are just in the window looking. And it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. Uh, but, but yeah, it's very funny to make fun of Kingdom Hearts. All right, so just give us this. By the I way, going back to your OLED thing, did you know that apparently you also get six free months of HBO Max with the TV? What? For a limited time. Yeah. It says, uh, it says with, with the, it says uh, you get with, with the purchase, it says for a limited time, you also get six free months of HBO Max and you can, uh, so you can, and it says you can watch all your stuff. It's weird, but yeah, it says that you can, 
let me see i mooch off my father for hbo max uh if you're listening to this dad thanks but I don't like, need I don't I don't need that. So No, I, I just think it's funny that they have to incorporate that. But then when you actually go through the Amazon thing, I see nothing. nothing uh, for a second I thought I saw it. I was about to eat my words. For a second, um oh no, it does say right there. Special offer and production uh, product promotions right there. I'm gonna be honest, I don't see it anywhere where I bought it, so maybe it's not with mine. Or maybe uh, it'll come in the no, box it's, or it's, something. It's, it's it's with yours. I, I'm literally on yours. And if you scroll down past the related to this item, and then you keep going, and like right before it's right before. Do you have any questions? There's a thing that says special offers and product promotions, and then it says it's offered by LG LG.com by qualifying between this time and this time, and claim their six months or whatever with their purchase. But you have to go through the LG promos and then put, I guess you have to, you know, show that you bought it. Hmm. Okay. Um, I probably won't do any of that. No, I mean. But I will, but I will pretend people like People who don't have it. I mean, here you go. There you go, everyone. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited for the TV. Um, I'll be watching, me and the wife will be watching movies. We're going to have a little movie night. We're gonna sure, watch but... our plan. Oh no, we're gonna watch DC Fandom. <laughs> you're sure. You're sure. Well, speaking of DC Fandom, lest lest we forget, this weekend is DC Fandom. We'll be getting looks at Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad. Very excited for those two. I'm especially mm-hmm. excited for Gotham Knights because that is, of course, sooner. And your boy gets to play as four of the Bat Family, and I get to choose from them. Oh, can't wait! I don't remember Alex. Who's your main mm-hmm. for the Gotham Knights? We have Red Hood, we have Red Robin, we have Nightwing, and we have Batgirl. Yeah, and see, I know you're gonna do Nightwing. I'm between Nightwing and Batgirl. I'll probably main both of them. I'm I'm debating between Batgirl and Red Hood. I'm also going leaning towards Red Hood as well because he is the coolest one. Yeah, I just I don't like a Robin guy. I don't know why. I am I am a I I am a Robin guy. So I, I I don't I don't know how I feel about Red Robin. Yeah, this is of course Tim Drake. So yeah, usually yeah, you're, you're usually more of a Dick Grayson Robin. Dick Gray, yeah, more of a Dick Grayson or Jason Todd. So yeah, you, you are a Jason Todd fan, Robin. Not, you're not a huge. Uh, yeah, Tim Drake. No, Tim Drake. you know he's he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. He doesn't usually get love. Usually, all the stories are either with Dick Grayson Robin or mm-hmm. with Jason Todd Robin turning into Red Hood or Jason Todd Robin mm-hmm. when he's still. See, Red I'm not gonna Robin. lie. I don't dig the black mask cape thing for Red Robin. Really? No, yeah. let's let's we forget. I, there are... I don't I like the hood better, like what they did with uh Robin and Robin the Arkham, in Arkham. Yeah. Yes, I like that. I don't like that he looks like Batman. No, lest we cape. forget yeah, the first no ears. the first trailer showed different outfits. Very first okay. trailer. Um no, or sorry, not the first trailer, the first look at the gameplay. Mm-hmm. So did you? I don't know if you remember. Did you like that one? Let me see. Because there was the awesome. Knights Red or uh, Red Rock. I think it was more of like a. I put Arkham. Gotham Knights. Oh, it's it's it's, it's like. Hmm. It was like the original. It, 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 honestly, it thing. honestly it looks like a jacket with an R on it, and it's just the the hood's not on, and it had, and then he has the little mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it right here. I don't know. Died. Uh, I don't like that either. <laughs> did you did you like the cowl one? They have the cowl red robin. The cowl red robin. Wait. Yeah, there's a cow there's an over the head cowl red robin that is sh- featured in the Batgirl thing, I think. What? I don't know. It's not important. Um but yes, Gotham Knights I'm very excited for. Very excited to see some more Suicide Squad stuff. I don't think we'll see gameplay, but I'm very much hoping we are. We, we, we both know both of those games got delayed. Um, mm. Don't know to what time. Don't think we'll get dates. If we do get a Gotham Knights date, I will believe it when I see the game in my fucking hands. <laughs> uh, because um, it looks like WB is in no way in a hurry to release these games because they don't have to be. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do back or, or Red Hood. Yeah, I'm I'm leaning between Batgirl and Nightwing and again. I'll probably play both. And the Red Hood always reminds me of a little bit of of uh, Deadpool with the double guns. Oh, of course, shit, so. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, yeah I mean, Deadpool yeah, yeah. was always one of my mains in um, Ultimate Alliance. Yeah. 
Alex, that mm. is the show for this week. So, um, it was um, more of a discussionary tale, although you did give me a lot to think about with the Vita 2, with the PSVR 2. It was a bunch mm. of stuff that I just, I never really gave it a second thought. Now I'm, now you have given me pause and mm-hmm. I want to go, I want to go ponder on that, ponder on these things while I play Metroid. Speaking of Metroid, we uh, hopefully in the next two weeks we'll have a spoiler cast up for that because I really do want to discuss this game and the inner workings of the game. Uh, so mm-hmm. get ready for that. Um, still no update on the Far Cry game. Most likely we'll have that by next week. Mm-hmm. So we'll let you know our thoughts on that. We've Probably really just been playing Tales and... First impressions on um, Back for Blood because I do want to try that out this weekend. Do you really? Yes. Okay, we'll try We'll try a couple matches. I Again, I... I'm not. I have. I don't. I don't have a need to go to the game, uh, which you, is yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. No, I do want to. I have other friends. I'm just. Joking. Oh, oh. First off, I know that's a lie. Second, <laughs> <laughs> but I have one other friend. All right. <laughs> but uh, for but for Black for Blood, I mean, like I do want to try it. Yeah. But it's similar to uh, Battlefield. Our thoughts with the Battlefield beta. Yeah. If you go, hey, let's play this. I'll go. Okay, let's play it for a, a little bit. But I'm jump. I'm jumping yeah. off eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Alex, uh, same question. I like to end the show just like I began it with a one singular question. What do you have queued up for the week? Now, this, co- of course, can be a video game, a game, a TV show, a movie, a comic book, or just a simple book. This is also a question for the Achievers. What do you have queued up for the week? Comment below. Also, Alex, what do you have queued? Um, right now, I am still doing my horror movie watch through. So I've finished Aliens. And I'm working on Friday the 13th right now. And then I'm going to do Halloween. Thank you. I was just about to say that. I thought you were working through the Halloweens. So you're going to do... I them. So I, did Friday, I did Friday the 13th first. Gotcha. So you're doing the... Okay. Yep. You know what you should and, watch? Hmm. American Werewolf in London. That seems, like an, I, that seems like an Alex yeah, movie. I've heard of this, and I think I've watched it. Is it is that the older one, or is that the newer one? There's two of them. Uh, I, yeah. You can watch either one. I think they're both good. Uh, I would say maybe the newer one. I, I think, think I've watched... Yeah, because there's... Well, there's... Yeah, because the old one is in 1981. And then there's... What the fuck? And then there's uh, oh, American Werewolf in Paris, and that's from 1997. Maybe not that one. Okay, so maybe I'm thinking of the other one. Let me see. Yeah, because there's a werewolf movie. Um, God, what was it? I forget what it was called. No, that's not it. Oh, well, I'll have to find it later. But there was some werewolf movie that was kind of like, like more modern, and I watched that, but I don't think I've watched this and I wanted to. I actually might watch this. I need a spooky movie to watch. I, I gotta figure out something. I'm not in the spooky mood. I need to like watch something to get there. It was a 2010 film. The Wolfman? Yeah. It was a yeah, it was a remake of the 1941 film with the same name. And uh that it starred uh, this one stars uh Benicio del Toro, Anthony Hopkins, uh, and Emily Blunt. They're in the in this one. It's called The Wolfman. Have remember, you ever watched the original? What is it called? Um, Universal Dracula? Monster movies, like or like any of them? Yeah. No. You of course have the Frank. And for the achievers who don't know, you of course have Frankenstein. Like, okay, you have Frankenstein. Dracula. I, just, I think you Frankenstein. Have, and I've seen a little bit of Dracula. Yeah, you have um, the Wolfman. You have. I mean, there's a yeah. lot. There's a lot of Universal Monster, and then you have the collabs. There's House of Dracula. There's yeah. Dracula versus the Wolfman. I think there's Frankenstein versus. Uh, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of. I'm just curious if yeah. you had watched any of them. I've seen a little bit of Dracula, and I've seen uh, Frankenstein, and of course the one with G with Gene Wilder. Um, I forget what the, his, that one is called. What made me ask is I remembered that Cinemasker is doing their Monster Madness. I have oh, not watched yeah. it yet. I need to. Um, they can't show it on YouTube. Um, so I need to watch this one. For the, uh, I need to watch this on their website. And I just, I'm never on my computer for that. Gotcha. Uh, so I need to like just pick a day and watch them. Um, yeah, I, 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 
I never went back because I uh, during his cinema uh, cinema um, massacre thing, I watched the Godzilla thing, and I never watched all the ones he had on his list. I never got to finish sh- that. Yes, yes. I was actually really happy to see that. First off, you enjoyed that video. Second mm-hmm. off, you actually took his advice and went and watched all of them. That was very nice to see. Well, um, I haven't finished. I want to. I, I, I think. But I'm you're close. You're close. Yeah. I mean, you watched. You watched like five of them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, I which that was a good bit. That was mm-hmm. you like you took his first like advice of a bunch of them, and then you like, uh, then you th- then there was like extra credit basically, and you haven't done those. Mm-hmm. Yet. Yeah, I've watched a lot of the Godzilla movies. Alex, favorite horror movie? Give it to me. I've never asked you this question, and I know, you, I feel like a, your horror l- love. Um, I would mm-hmm. say maybe I don't know if that's too strong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. I know you like horror movies to some extent, and you have a much more deep knowledge of horror movies than I do. I have more of a cursory knowledge, but, but like, do you have like a favorite maybe horror franchise or movie? I know you would probably pick Alien for your favorite horror it's, movie. It, is that right? It's between Alien and Nightmare on Elm Street. The first one? <sighs> I love the first I mean, Nightmare on Elm Street. I, I love the first one, and I like the second one. And I didn't like the uh, dream, uh, dream, the dream. Uh, what was it a dream, dream catcher, dream leavers? I can't. I forget what they're called. Um, uh, number four or five. I, I, I like the first two Elm Streets, and then I like Wes Craven's new nightmare. That one was a different take, and I, and I enjoyed that. Cause that was the one where um, the, the um, the chick who plays Nancy, whatever. She, they're they actually playing themselves, like you know Robert England. They're in Hollywood. They're actually playing themselves in Hollywood, playing going through you know. Oh, Nightmare on Elm Street did such a big hit, but then it's actually happening mm. to her to the actual person. And they were like, and the the Nancy character is, is it talks to Robert and is like, uh, this is happening to me. It's not you, right? And he's she was like, and she was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and like, and then there's a kid. There's a kid involved, and it's it's crazy. It sounds crazy. It sounds interesting. I, actually, I've always enjoyed that one, Bec- and it's crazy too because the husband is who the one who created the glove, and it's like all oh, this crazy like twist and stuff. Mm. Okay. I, but yeah, I I enjoyed one and two, and then Wes Craven's New Nightmare because, like I said, it was just a different take on it. Yeah. And um, but then Alien, of course. So it's just hard to pick between those two franchises. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you, you give some of the achievers some some thought. I was just throwing some horror movies out there so the achievers can. Go you have a favorite? Get in it. I'm not a big horror guy, honestly. So I feel guy, like yeah. I feel like my I feel like my favorite is is so void because I don't watch a bunch. But um, okay. if I had I mean, to pick a horror movie, what you've seen. I mean, what would you? What would you? When I think you of go back horror, and watch? Mm-hmm. the the feeling of fright, the feeling of of being scared, Alien. Mm-hmm. I think is one of the better movies I've seen. Although I, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a horror movie, but it is scary to some people. So like, it's th- the definition of horror. I feel like it's weird because well, what's thriller, the difference between a thriller horror. and a horror? And sometimes they're the same thing. Is I don't know. It just because something just it doesn't have jump scares doesn't mean it's not scary. I think Alien yeah. is very scary. It doesn't really have jump scares though. Um, it's scary in a different way. I, I, I would say it's it's difference between two things, and I'll mm-hmm. leave it at this: Alien, because it's just mm-hmm. so tense and frightening the whole time, um, mm-hmm. and the acting is incredible. With of course, um, a quick. Um, uh, there's a quick Alien. Uh, what would you say? Uh, like a fact that I don't know if you knew. Please. Um, when they filmed Alien, every shot is always moving. There's not one standstill uh, shot in that movie. Every shot that they've filmed is always constantly, like, slightly moving to the side or up and down, but there's never one set in stone uh, mm, frame. In I wonder scene. if that's, like, some sort of psychological thing to make you feel like you're always... You're, you're never relaxing. It's always yeah. constantly that's what the, moving. There was a... Uh, it says the origin of alien uh, documentary. I got it on Microsoft and it was telling me about that. And it was like, yeah, um, really Scott was like, yeah, when he filmed it, he, he filmed it to where he's, he's, they, everybody like always have, they always had, uh, he was always an, like antsed up. So he's always moving. So that's how he, he would made it like to where he was always constantly moving. Ridley Scott was actually the pretty much the cameraman. Whoa. 
Yeah, and he was they, like, the, there's not one scene, even if it looks like it is, like there's, you know, the the main dinner scene where yeah. everybody's eating and then yeah, the yeah, chest buster comes Yeah, up. chest buster. You, you think that's stationary. It's not. It's actually, there's always a slight movement between scenes. It, like, no matter what, if you actually look, there's actually sm- slight. Cool. Yeah, it's actually always moving. You can look and like, if you watch the movie, you'll always see it after after you say it. Like I, that's I, I can cool. notice it. Uh, I didn't I can know that. It now. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Um, but but yeah, I, I was gonna say that it would either be Alien, which again is mm-hmm. so if you phenomenal. Have to pick something movie. that you can so, watch once every year during a Halloween season. What like what would it be? Ooh, yeah, I was about to say. So I was gonna say if if I if I want something that is scary to me and it's horror filled, mm-hmm. I want to say Exorcist. That is a mm-hmm. terrifying movie. That is scary to me. The like, original. Yes. Yeah. The okay. uh, The Exorcist. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I mean, the reason I'm asking because um, no, the Exorcist I, of Emily Rose was yeah. actually pretty. That's scary. pretty scary too. Yeah. Yeah. That one was pretty cr- no, that's scary. Pretty, pretty scary. Yeah. Um, but if I have to pick something, I'd watch every year. See, that's I feel yes. like that's almost a different question. Mm-hmm. And see, to me, it would be Alien or Freddy Krueger because Hocus I lo- Pocus. <laughs> Dude, that's my wife's. That's my wife's. That's my wife's one. Is she always watches Hocus Pocus once every year? A mo- a, it's either that or a Halloween movie. Town. A horror movie I would watch every year. Yeah, from what you've seen, and you'd be like, "Yeah, I'll watch this one." Like, one, uh, like you'll probably won't watch Halloween it throughout movie. the year. Yeah, but yeah, you have to be in the Halloween mood, and this is you'll watch. Mine is either Alien or Freddy Krueger. Now, I haven't watched Freddy Krueger this holiday be- just because of how much I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I would have to either give it to Alien or. Um, uh. Dawn of the Dead or something. Okay. Like something like that. Something that I that I do really enjoy watching. Okay. I think yeah. I I'll, I'll go I I I will go Alien and then like second choice would be like something like like a zombie kind of movie. Okay. Something so like have you have you ever watched um 28 days later, 28 weeks later movies? I have not. I I've watched Dawn well, of the Dead. I've watched Day of the Dead. I've watched Shaun of the Dead, which is a fucking awesome movie. I, know, that's I love Shaun of the Dead. But yeah, watch Twenty Eight Days and Twenty Eight Weeks Later. Those are pretty. I I enjoy them at least. Okay, I will. Those are pretty cool. Those I think those are set in. Think of it like this. Um, I think it's Alaska. It's like there's twenty eight days of darkness, and it's just a, you can you know have your imagination go about that with a zombie movie. Mm, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and then the Twenty Eight Weeks one. It's been so long since I've. I don't remember if it's the same concept or not. <sighs> Well, if Alex, I have it right, I'm not sure. Alex, I've had you here mm-hmm. long enough. Okay. Let's bid the achievers farewell for this week. We'll of course see you next week. Um as always, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for this little Halloween chat. This was fun. Um we'll have to do this again, but maybe we'll maybe we'll have another fun uh, conversation next week as long as there's not too much news again this was quite the slow news weekend uh, achievers i'd rather bring you a couple things that i have and have a discussion rather than just bringing a bunch of news stories that i don't honestly feel interested interesting or interested if i did miss a news story it was of course totally possible um please comment below or tweet at us or of course patreon dm us and we'll cover it next week but until then i'm gonna go play more metroid dread i'm gonna go play some tales or metro I don't know yet because my mind still wants to go to Apex but I'm like I have to give it a break Mm -hmm. so I can go beat these other games first until next time go Chiefs